Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, students. Uh, I have a dream by Martin Luther King Jr. We are starting uh, again the next lecture. Uh, you can see the slide that uh, uh, we explained uh, these question till question number five and till the paragraph road towards freedom. So hopefully uh, you have understood all the previous information and the history uh, discussed with you. And today we are going to start from the paragraph. Uh, open up your books and uh, start from the paragraph and as we walk we must make the pledge got it let's begin and as we walk we must make the pledge pledge means request that we shall march ahead we shall march mean we shall move ahead we cannot turn back there are those who are asking the devotees of civil rights devotees means he, he is uh, talking about uh, those negroes those faithful people those who participated in civil rights movements they are asking when you will be satisfied we can and uh, the negroes they are replying that we can never be satisfied as long as the negro is the victim of the horrors of police brutality we can never be satisfied as long as our bodies heavy with the fatigue of travel cannot gain lodging in the motels of the highways and the hotels of the cities. We cannot be satisfied as long as the Negro's basic mobility is from a smaller ghetto to the larger one. Ghettos are the areas, poor areas. And we can never be satisfied as long as a Negro in Mississippi. Mississippi is a small state where they were kept where as slaves. Mississippi cannot vote. And a Negro in New York believes he has nothing for which to vote. No, no. We are not satisfied and we will not be satisfied until justice rolls down. Recall the first lecture until justice rolls down like waters and like a mighty stream let me explain here is the question number six and that what was basically the uh, dream of martin luther king jr and uh, the question is that uh, when will they means the negroes be satisfied or not satisfied uh, according to the dr king so he says that uh, uh, satisfaction of the negroes is uh, only uh, based when they will be allowed to uh, give the right to vote as all other citizens of America they have got and mobility towards cities mean until they were not be mobility means movement until they were not be allowed to move towards the cities towards a city life where there are every there is every kind of facility given there uh, because um, you know that uh, there are some states then uh, one is Mississippi I discussed and uh, the others we will be uh, discussing in uh, our next uh, paragraphs as well that uh, they were kept as slaves uh, towards the south these all areas are towards the south and they were kept slaves there where uh, there were no facilities they were poor areas and now they say that their satisfaction is moving towards cities and they want uh, they are fed up of the police brutality brutality means cruelty and now until they will not be freed from the police brutality they will not be given satisfaction they will not have satisfaction and they will not sit in tranquility and peace and uh, in your first lecture I explained this metaphor uh, that, that justice uh, the this simile sorry uh, that justice rolls down like water simile because like is used here he says that uh, as the, uh, again I am explaining it to you that here that you know, the, the, the Negroes demand is that uh, as water uh, runs or moves very smoothly towards its destination and keeps on moving towards the destination similarly they want uh, justice in the society and he says that as uh, they look here the waters waters means that uh, uh, you know that water and stream they give you cooler effect cool and soothing effect uh, uh, what a 
uh, we can say that uh, beautiful uh, similes and metaphors and imagery uh, the figures of speech uh, uh, are used in the speech and there and you know that due to uh, this figurative language uh, the use of similes metaphors imagery and so many others uh, the speech uh, of Martin Luther has uh, become very much effective and he is giving the sense of uh, 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 coolness sense of calmness basically uh, to the Negroes that justice should be uh, uh, rolling down in the society like water uh, which uh, gives you a cooler effect a very beautiful uh, expression of Martin Luther so this is the demand of uh, the, the uh, Negroes to get satisfied uh, the next paragraph uh, is uh, I am not unmindful let me read I am not, not unmindful. Unmindful means I am not unaware that some of you have come here out of great trials and tribulations. Tribulations means uh, uh, the sufferings, the problems. Some of you have come fresh from narrow jail cells. Some of you have come from areas. Observe the repetition of uh, the indefinite pronoun. Some of you, some of you. And some of you have uh, come from areas where your quest serves search search for freedom quest for freedom left you battered betters means that you are helpless by the storms of persecution or and uh, persecution storms of perse persecution is basically cruelty and you are staggered by the winds of police brutality and due to the cruelty brutality means cruelty due to the cruelty of police uh, you are staggered staggered means you cannot even walk physically you are tortured mentally you are tortured tortured and you have been the veterans of creative sufferings veterans mean experienced person sufferings means problems and you it means that you have and uh, you ha you have become an experienced person you you know what to do you know how to suffer because when there will be sufferings you will get freedom continue to work with the faith continue continue is a verb here you know whenever there is a verb here it is declaration it is an order that continue to work with the faith that very good very beautiful expression that unearned suffering is redemptive what is this expression basically um, uh, meant here i will be explaining you go back to mississippi go back to alabama go back to south carolina go back to georgia go back to lausania go and go back to the slums and ghettos of our northern cities knowing that somehow this situation can and will be changed let us not wallow wallow mean move aimlessly in the valley of despair let me explain the beautiful expressions a uh, beautiful paragraph i'm not unmindful i'm not careless i'm not unaware first of all this expression let me explain what does it mean he says says that uh, the last line of the paragraph that unearned suffering is redemptive uh, you know that sufferings means the problems that you face your problems uh, always whatever you face uh, you earn in re you earn you you are rewarded uh, uh, due to those sufferings uh, for example if i say that um, whenever uh, you step out of your home uh, whether to bring some uh, uh, something or uh, to uh, to go for your job or whatever when you whenever you step out of your uh, uh, home it means that obviously you are uh, going to have rewards for some that for those sufferings you are going to earn something in return so this is it means the sufferings are always uh, earned but unearned sufferings means that uh, unearned means that uh, the pain you didn't deserve you did not deserve uh, those sufferings he is basically giving the reference that the negroes they are the, the, uh, the kind of sufferings and problems they are facing 
those are those problems uh, they are those sufferings are unearned means they uh, it seems that they are not going to get any reward for that that is why he says that uh, they say uh, these sufferings are unearned because they were facing cruelty injustice and discrimination segregation uh, racial discrimination is was there so and they were not getting uh, any kind of reward as he says that 100 years are passed Uh, even uh, after the declaration and announcement of abraham lincoln but uh, there is no change in the society it means that their sufferings are unearned and uh, these sufferings uh, it means the pains and pangs as as told you the un and he says that unearned suffering he is giving them hope that unearned suffering is redemptive redemption is means that uh, uh, that you are going to uh, your sufferings are going to be valued you are going to give relief uh, in future and when you will be continuing the civil rights movement you will be working harder for that then you will your sufferings will be earned now they are on on and but uh, in the future they are hopeful that the sufferings will be redemptive means earned and uh, as uh, i discussed uh, here uh, while i was reading the paragraph that some of you have come some of you have uh, faced some of you have come from the areas the repetition of these uh, in the definite pronouns is uh, you know that whenever there is repetition it it is just to create the maximum effect to emphasize on uh, the on on the point on the f- that, that f- to focus that uh, there were so many people that uh, uh, though that they were facing uh, hardships and cruelties so this is just to create the effect on the readers the trials and tribulations means struggle so what were the tribulations and trials they were uh, dis- discussing in the paragraphs that uh, they have uh, gone to the jails police uh, cruelty there uh, is faced by them and uh, again storms of persecution means persecution mean cruelty the, this again metaphorically taken that uh, uh, torture is faced a uh, storm means heavy torture heavy uh, 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 sufferings they are uh, they they've been facing valley of despair obviously this is the this the areas where they were kept uh, as slaves in mississippi uh, and uh, he said to doctor talks about georgia he talks about uh, uh, so many other uh, small states uh, that um, he says that uh, they are kept slaves there and uh, this these were the valleys where uh, there was desperation where was hopelessness there and he wants that that i uh, one thing more uh, if you observe that uh, uh, he has taken some metaphors from nature from weather from climate from landscapes means he is talking about the uh, mountains he is talking about uh, waters he is talking about uh, uh, the hills he is talking about the mole hills and he is talking about the greenery and uh, look here the storms the streams the winds so these are all uh, taken from uh, basically uh, from nature uh, the, and you know that all the natural elements are very much familiar to a common man it means that uh, the speed each has become very much effective and powerful uh, because uh, of the use of uh, s- uh, some figures of speech there because of the some uh, uses of metaphor imagery and similes uh, just uh, to uh, b- so that a common person can feel everything whatever martin luther is trying to emphasize so these uh, uh, common uh, metaphors are taken from the n- nature so hopefully that you have uh, got the point of view what i want to explain the next paragraph i say to you today my friends that in spite of the difficulties and frustrations of the moment i still have a dream it is a dream again repetition uh, it is a dream deeply rooted in the american dream i have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meanings of its creed creed mean faith we hold these truths to be self evident which truths that they will be given freedom 
uh, self evident means that all these truths that they will be given freedom one day in future it will be clear it will be obvious to everyone that all men are created equal this is basically the truth he is talking about and it is clear to everyone i have a dream that one day on the red hills of georgia the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood i have a dream that one day even the state of mississippi a desert state sweltering burning with the heat of injustice and oppression cruel cru oppression is cruelty will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice oasis means the place opposite to desert where there is greenery and or some kind of facilities there so let me explain the paragraph this is the dream of the king first of all come to the use of alliteration again alliteration to create a maximum effect on the minds of the readers he says that the uh, slaves and the sons of former slaves owners and uh, again they can they look here uh, the sons of former slaves repetition here alliteration here and um, i have a dream i have a dream again and again the repetition of these of uh, these uh, these phrases uh it 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 leaves a very uh, imaginative impact on the minds of the readers that they, they start feeling as if they are themselves uh, readers are suffering so let me explain uh, repetition as i already explained you of the uh, some of the phrases there i have a dream uh, nation that nation will be free uh, we hold the faith that what was the faith is was talking about that will be clear that is clear that is evident that all men are created equal you know that uh, we being uh, muslims we know that oh, every one is equal uh, and islam uh, does not talk about uh, um, about uh, the discrimination on the basis of creed color and caste so he is giving the reference basically that all men are created equal the reference uh, to the uh, degree of independence that was announced or that was proclaimed by abraham lincoln again the reference of abraham lincoln is given here uh, you if you recall the abraham lincoln's words were, were you are free free and free forever and uh, the, he is giving the reference to that and mississippi mississippi uh, is again i told you that uh, was a state where the sweltering with heat means burning this is an imagery taken that again uh, the, the, the kind of imagery purpose of imagery is just to make you feel that situation to create a, an image in your mind that how much uh, heat is there hotness is there cruelty is there uh, that, that they were they are not allowed to enjoy the rights there so the heat is hopeful that uh, that situation will be transformed into oasis oasis of justice oasis is opposite to desert where you find some greenery where you find some water and some uh, 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 kind of uh, facilities to uh, some extent but there are and he says that this situation of mississippi and some other states will be changed into oasis of justice there so the moving uh, towards the next paragraph uh, that uh, hopefully you have understood this maybe uh, this is a very important paragraph girls i have a dream you observe uh, the use of uh, some of the phrase repetition of the phrases that my four little children will one day live in a nation where there will, will not be judged by the color of the s their skin but by the content of their character i have a dream today uh, again he here he is talking about his four children that uh, he left behind him uh, after he was assassinated murdered killed uh, that uh, he says and he he is hopeful and he believes that uh, his civil rights movement will bring fruit and will be fruitful uh, for all 
all the Africans, for all the uh, Negroes, that even his ch own children uh, will in future, he is hopeful that not be facing any kind of discrimination. Then he says that, I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted, will be high. Every hill and mountain shall be made low. You know that mountains are uh, considered uh, uh, strong and uh, are, 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 are exalted, are considered that a big one, exalted. Then the plain areas and uh, he, he says that all the hill, every hill and mountain means that uh, all those Americans that they consider themselves um, exalted, they consider themselves uh, high, they will uh, be low and the rough places will be made plain and the crooked crooked mean twisted broken places will be made straight and the glory of the lord lord means god allah and the gl glory of the lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together flesh means all human beings will see that all men are created equal let me explain mm, the dream that the, he is talking about his dreams what is the dream basically of martin luther so this is the dream uh, that equality among black and white will be there mountains valley uh, they, uh, they they will be made low and crooked places mean twisted places broken places will be exalted they will be uh, the, the made straight and they will be high means crooked places which were the crooked places which were the broken places uh, they were like mississippi georgia and some other states that uh, in in towards the south in, in the south uh, they are, they were, uh, these Negroes were kept as slaves. It says that these places will be exalted, will be uh, will be made high, will be planned. Inshallah, he's seen he's uh, having hope. Uh, uh, hopefully, that you have understood that what was his dream. Uh, you really start uh, I myself myself uh, girls uh, start feeling uh, uh, those uh, uh, effects that are created by Martin Luther uh, that uh, um, I, I myself being a human you yourself feel that as if you really are suffering so moving towards the next uh, paragraph this is our hope after uh, giving the description of uh, all the uh, dreams he is now having a hope the paragraph starts from this is our hope this is the faith with which i return to the south again south means those areas where they were kept with this faith we will be able to hew out cut out the mountain of despair a stone of hope with this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discord of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. Symphony is a musical composition. And jangling discords mean the discussions, the problems that were created by Americans. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together. Again, repetition to struggle together to go to the jail together to stand up for freedom together knowing that we will be free one day a beautiful paragraph with uh, a repetition let me explain it here that what is the faith that they will cut out the mountains and uh, the mountains of despair and uh, that will be changed into mountain of hope it is metaphorically taken and you know that uh, cutting the mountain hewing the mountain is not an easy task to work with stone and stone of hope hew out the mountain and stone of hope uh, basically in textbook it is used that uh, yeah, that this mountain will be cut out ca means that mountain where uh, the, these Americans basically that that mountain as I already told you that that which is considered uh, very straight and very huge and big they, they will cut this mountain and uh, the stone of hope means that uh, 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 they will be uh, they are basically it means that stone the reference of stone is given here just to create the image uh, or uh, to create the effect that their life is very much uh, 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 very much tough and hard as hard as a stone is 
is there and uh, they are physically suffering mentally suffering spiritually suffering and they hope that uh, they are hoping that they will uh, ju just cut this mountain and they will they will be having uh, peace in society and uh, uh, he is talking about the freedom and equal rights that there will be brotherhood and uh, uh, brotherhood uh, it, it this uh, expression this brotherhood this feeling is uh, uh, by, uh, is emphasized by uh, the repetition of these phrases that we uh, join together sit together pray together struggle together when you would be uh, uh, performing or doing all kind of activities uh, in civil rights movements uh, together uh, but together and again he says together that uh, together uh, do everything it means that the sense of brotherhood is uh, basically he wants to create and whenever you know that there is unity there is brotherhood uh, that then uh, no one can beat you and then uh, there is a next the most important uh, song that uh, i am going to uh, read here uh, this will be the day when all of god's children god's children mean all of the all of the people those who are kept slaves will be able to sing with new meaning okay let me start uh, singing uh, not singing but rather i would uh, just read it my country it is of thee sweet land of liberty this means this thee means you he, he says that my country it is you sweet land of liberty that is the sweet land of thee i sing means i sing only for you thee means for you land fear where my fathers died land of the pilgrims pride from every mountain side let freedom ring use of uh, in in one of the uh, here uh, phrase there is a rhyme there is uh, alliteration and uh, rhyming scheme a beautiful rhyming scheme is also followed and you know that rhyming scheme uh, is followed by the writers and the poets when they feel satisfied and uh, it means that here is a rhyming scheme this shows the sign of hope this shows the light beacon light uh, uh, as he discussed earlier that they will be given equal rights so significance of the song uh, song basically this is the uh, 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 popular version uh, of uh, the original songs but uh, that i um, uh, read here but uh, here this is the remix basically obviously when uh, ever uh, remix is there or the song is remixed it means that uh, uh, there is obviously uh, a purpose behind that or it might create a, a more uh, soothing effect on the readers and the listeners so and again in this song uh, the what the significance is that uh, he is giving the reference of forefathers and he is giving the reference of that pride he is giving the reference of the liberty in this song uh, it means that reference of the order of uh, abraham lincoln is given uh, and uh, or oh, he is giving the reference of that uh, that is basically the ray of hope for them that was that is still and that was because uh, you know that uh, let me recall uh, yeah, you that uh, martin luther uh, delivered at his speech uh, by standing uh, on the steps of abraham lincoln and this is the reference that uh, this song is basically the reference to that as well that uh, their that their, 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 um, the forefathers and every poor and every person who was sincere to the negroes uh, they uh, basically uh, uh, they been working putting efforts and uh, uh, they now uh, martin luther and all uh, the negroes it becomes their responsibility to work or to continue working for that pride and uh, look here he's again as he says that land where my father died land of the pilgrims pride uh, it is echo is increased here rhyme is there due to rhyme and alliteration the echo is increased and uh, when for example um, uh, observe just imagine uh, go into your imagination that there are mountains and valleys that as as he been discussing there mountains are there valleys are there and uh, you are loudly uh, uh, just singing this song want this kind of singing will uh, just create an echo there or will create an effect 
locked there where there is uh, a, 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 there is no one there and there is peace uh, there and uh, people are just uh, very covertly they are uh, living there and someone is singing uh, how uh, what what kind of effect would be there on people obviously they will, they will be attracted towards the song there will, because there is a rhyme there is alliteration so this is the significance of the song to make everyone feel motivated towards the civil rights movement to get freedom for their country hopefully you got the point then he says that if next paragraph and if america is to be a great nation this must become true so let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of new hampshire let freedom ring from the mounty, mighty mountains of new york let freedom ring from the heightening allegonies of pennsylvania let freedom ring from the snow Uh, capped rockies of colorado so let me explain uh, here he says that let freedom ring again let freedom ring declaration is there order is there he basically i want to make you clear it clear to you that colorado uh, california hampshire and uh, alleghenies of pennsylvania he is talking about these were basically the original Uh, areas original uh, cities of america original cities of america and he not only want uh, uh, freedom ring or rule uh, in uh, uh, those of the areas where uh, negroes were kept uh, as slaves rather he wants in america to enjoy uh, that some of the wise you know that um, uh, let me uh, recall you that or some white men they were also sufferings they were also kept slaves as abraham lincoln mentioned uh, ab uh, about them as well that everyone is free and uh, so it, that is the reason that he is giving the reference and he is fighting for those white men as well those who were kept slaves along with the negroes so these are the original places of america so the next paragraph uh, he says that but not only that let freedom ring let freedom ring from the mountain of georgia let freedom ring from lookout mountain of tennessee let freedom ring from the hill and mole hill of mississippi from every mountain side let freedom ring this is basically uh, the uh, south these are the ghettos and of blacks mean poor areas of blacks that uh, he is talking about uh, georgia uh, tennessee mississippi look here the reference is hamlet's very small hill mole hill very that is that that is not a hill and uh, look here he has given the reference that for americans he is talking about um, they are they are living there on mountains and those mountains will be made low and for the negroes is talking about that they are uh, forced to live on mole hills and small hill and very small hill in hamlet and these are the areas so these are poor areas of south where actually the negroes were uh, kept as slaves and they were forced to live here not uh, they were not allowed to enjoy freedom and this was basically uh, the dream of abraham lincoln again this was a change that abraham lincoln uh, he wanted to be happened again uh, by giving the reference to uh, the for ref reference to those these cities of tennessee mississippi hamlet small hill mole hill uh, again the give ref uh, purpose of giving the reference is to recall the dream of abraham lincoln uh, that uh, he wanted wanted actually uh, bring uh, wanted to bring a change in these uh, southern areas where negroes were kept got it in the last paragraph when will let freedom ring when will let it ring repetition stress from every village in every hamlet from every state and every city as i already told you he is talking about those city life as well where americans were living and uh, small hills as well and we will be able to speed up that day when all of god's children black men and white men uh, what a beautiful justice is there that uh, uh, the person the leader this is called basically the strong leader that uh, he is not only fighting for the blacks 
but the, for the negroes but for, for, for white men those who were kept slaves jews and protestant uh, protestants and catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old negro spiritual the old negro spiritual what was again the reference of old negro spiritual i would be explaining you free at last free at last thank god almighty we are free at last this is the expression this is the end of the speech and uh, let me explain it to you the reference of old negro spiritual uh, basically mm, the old uh, he with this expression old negro spiritual he is uh, uh, giving the reference to uh, the bible basically this is an uh, this is an allusion uh, the allusion not illusion allusion you you know that whenever we give the reference from history from any religious book from any character from any event this is called allusion and the old negro spiritual is basically an allusion uh, uh, of the bible given here and uh, you know that according to the bible all men are created equal uh, not only the reference of uh, the bible but according to uh, we, we being muslim we know and we believe we have a faith that all men are created equal and all men are free but here uh, they according to their own uh, faith and belief uh, they are giving the reference of bible that if they they will be free at last because they are free and all people are created equal so this is the reference he is talking about and uh, use of the most important uh, i would say that uh, the effect uh, other than uh, uh, imagery simile metaphor that uh, been uh, specifically used in speech the use of uh, anaphora in the lesson anaphora what is anaphora anaphora is the deliberate intentionally uh, the writer uses the repetition of uh, the phrases and of the expressions and of the words to create artistic and powerful effect on the readers on on the listeners this is anaphora again i repeat intentionally deliberately that the uh, phrases were repeated you know you if you if i make you recall sit together live together work together some of you have gone some of you have faced and so many other like that free at last free at last there are so many examples like this that uh, anaphora is used in the lesson and the speech also ends with the expression of uh, this these repetition and uh, use of anaphora that creates the uh, beautiful powerful uh, forceful effect on the readers that uh, they they start feeling this emphasis this uh, the, the 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 stress made by the uh, the writer or made by martin luther on the reader that what he really wants he wants the, the freedom to rule everywhere to ring everywhere means start it this means that the the emphasis or the stress is on the point that start moving working uh, for the civil rights of people and keep uh, p- p- putting your struggles for uh, the, this movement and continue to work with the faith that one day every one will be free free at last and free at last and hopefully he uh, uh, at the end of the speech is uh, uh, with the feeling with the hope with the satisfaction with the image that we have assumed that we are free we are free at last we are free because they have the faith uh, again uh, this uh, giving the reference of this uh, old spiritual song that they have uh, faith that uh, as everyone is uh, born free so they will also be given and freedom uh, by 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 god and uh, by the destiny so this is the end of the speech a beautiful one of the best speeches ever delivered i already told you in the world uh, the speech the speeches delivered for freedom for the sake of freedom uh, so uh, the girls this was the end of the lesson today hopefully uh, you uh, have understood each and everything all the references all the important paragraphs which from where 
you can have some questions uh, for mcqs and uh, you can also have some short questions as well so uh, uh, this today you have to make assignments uh, from question number six till question number uh, nine or ten whatever they are discussed here so make your assignment uh, send me uh, or uh, your own teachers uh, on the groups that uh, uh, you continue your discussion there and uh, uh, this speech i have a dream again is a very important chapter uh, so for your mcqs vocabulary or less uh, question answers means comprehension is concerned so uh, allah hafiz and uh, keep practicing and uh, again and again uh, keep uh, listening to the videos for better understanding thank you and allah hafiz